Hello, hello everybody, Ariel Patrice here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, welcome, and if you are returning, thank you for staying. So it has been a while, and as y'all know, I am now in year three of my PhD program for educational psychology with a focus in school psychology. And let me tell you, this year is internship year. This year is me starting the process of my literature review for my dissertation. And this year is me still working and doing my very last class of the program. And so I'm actually in my private practice office right now and I'm on my computer. So that's probably why the background looks different and I don't know how the quality of this video is going to be. But I'm actually just finished taking a couple of quizzes for my last class. And that one is an online class. I'm not sure if it would have been face-to-face -face because of... I'm pretty sure it would have been face-to-face -face because... Um, but with schools and universities right now, they're doing um, what they can to make it as safe as possible for everybody. And so this class is online. Um, and I, I, I don't mind it. I kind of like online classes because it's self-paced and you can do it faster or... Um, I guess at regular pace if you want to. I personally like to move a little bit faster so I can stay ahead. It's just the type A personality in me. Um, but I just took two of the quizzes and so I should be good for the next couple of weeks. And then um, I have a assignment, a pretty big assignment due in a couple I think by next month and I'll start working on that here probably next week. Um, but anyway as far as my internship goes, um, just an update, just in case this is your first time here. Um, I am in my internship now for school psychologists, so I am a LSSP intern, was it, which is a licensed specialist in school psychology intern. And I say school psychologist because in other states, it's already school psych school psychologist, but in Texas, you aren't allowed to necessarily use school psychologist unless it's at the doc doctoral level. You are typically in Texas need to say licensed specialist in school psychology, um, but since I am in that doctoral level, I just say school psychologist intern. But I don't know if that's right or wrong. Um, but just from what I've read, I feel like it has been okay and nobody has corrected me yet. So let me know if it, you know, um, if y'all know otherwise. But I am in my internship and so far it's so good. Um, it is not at the same place as it was for my practicum this past year. It's at a new place and it actually covers four different districts. And I am the only school psychologist intern over there. They don't have a school psychologist. They don't have a licensed specialist in school psychology at the master's level. They don't have anybody. It's, um, it's just me. Typically, they would contract out, but now it's just me at this time. And when you hear four different districts, you're like, ooh, what? What's going on? But these are um, in more rural areas or it's smaller. And so it is manageable. I want to go ahead and get that out the way now. It is manageable for me. Um, on my counseling caseload, I have 10 to 12. And on my across the board with my autism kids, my FBAs, my BIPs, my counseling kids, my ED kids, um, and all of that, I have roughly about 25 to 30. And I have a few initial evaluations that are coming up. I think I have about five right now. So let's say about 30 to 35 people on my caseload with everything across the board. So it is manageable. Um, and I have a, because I am type A, I have a pretty set schedule. So Mondays are my doing assessments, doing my observations, blah, blah, blah days. Um, I have Tuesdays as one school, Wednesdays as one school, Thursdays as one school, and Fridays as one school. So I'm there every week doing those different things with those different people or those different assessments or those different testings, those different observations, those different counseling, whatever I have to do, I have it as well as I can. And I set that up also for my ARD meetings because at specific schools, they have specific ARDs on specific days. And so I tried to line up my schedule with that as well. So I'm not driving all over the place. 
And so that has worked out really well um, so far. And I like that it is for smaller districts because it gives me the opportunity to build rapport with the students, with the teachers, with the parents. And I am a firm believer in building rapport with the people that you're working with. I don't want the first time for them to see me or know who I am is at their child's first art meeting or their student's first art meeting. I want to be able to be to build that and they know that I am approachable and available for their questions. And I love that I can do that here. And I mean, that seriously is the most important thing to me because I feel like I don't want anybody to come in and be like, who is this walking on our toes and blah, 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 blah. You know, like it's a team effort. I play a minimal role in helping this child when compared to everybody else who is helping this child. And together, if we can do it as a team, then it builds something beautiful. And so with the districts that I'm working with, it happens to work out for me for that. So I'm very happy and fortunate to be able to get to have that experience, and I wouldn't change it for anything. Um, and so, yeah, that's going on with my internship, and that will be for a year. I will have to do 1,500 hours, and then I have already taken my licensing exam. I did take my praxis for my LSSP, and I passed. Ooh, I passed. Let me tell you guys, let me tell you guys, it, what I was studying didn't seem like what was on my exam. But as y'all know, as all of y'all have known, and I've been very transparent and open about it, I am not a good test taker. Um, I struggle with anxiety when it comes to timed tests. And obviously the praxis is timed. And I had to breathe a lot. I had my earbuds in because I have to have silence. And I was freaking myself out and I really thought I was going to fail. And I I did not fail. Um, I passed, but I could have passed with a higher score. I didn't pass with that high of a score, honestly. But I passed. And I had talked to a couple of people and they're like, you know what, Ariel? Passing is passing. And I was like, you know what, you're right, but I'm still shook because I really thought I was going to fail. Like, I, <laughs> I really thought I was going to fail. So I was... It bothered me for about two days because I was like, I can't believe, like, I really thought I was going to fail. Like, I really did. Um, but I didn't. I passed. And so now that is out of the way. Once I finish this internship year, then I can go ahead and turn in all of my paperwork for that license to come in. And that will obviously be at the end of May when the actual internship year is completed and my hours have been completed. Um, as far as internship goes, just in case any of y'all are wondering, when you are in practicum, you have one hour of supervision a week. When you are in internship, you have two hours of supervision a week. And so you can break that up any way that you and your supervisor choose, but it is now doubled. And so I right now I'm doing one day with two hours at, at the same time and sometimes I have to break it up where it's one hour each time or whatever but I just wanted to throw that out there just in case y'all didn't know that because I did not know that and I probably could have known that if I went and read a little bit more into it but I didn't know that um, but just in case y'all didn't either it is two hours per week now as you start internship and just one hour per week with your practicum for supervision. So yeah, that's about um, everything that's going on right now. I am doing part-time at my counseling job um, because I am full-time now at the internship and it is paid, thankfully. And so I'm still part-time at my counseling job um, that I was working at currently just because I didn't want to just drop off all of the clients that I was having over there. I am still doing private practice as well, um, but I have done it now where it's every other weekend um, as opposed to almost every weekend. And so I take two weekends off for myself where 
it's me having time to study or me working on my lit review and all of that. I actually have, um, right after I finish this video, I have a couple of different articles, a lot of different articles <laughs> to start reading so I can start to add a little bit more to my lit review. But yeah, I wanted to give y'all guys an update. I'm sorry that it's been a while. Um, it was me trying to modify and adjust my schedule and kind of see how much time I think I'll actually have with everything that has happened now. But now we've been in been into everything for about a month now. So I think I got a good grasp on it. But if y'all have any questions or have any specific videos that you want to see, um, go ahead and just drop a comment down below. Um, I don't know what kind of content y'all want to know about or as I'm going through the start of my dissertation process and also the um, beginning of my internship. If y'all have specific questions on anything, just let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to, you can hit that notifications bell so you never miss a video from me. I love you all so much. Thank you for being patient with me. I greatly appreciate you. I hope that I have been able to help, and I hope that I will continue to be able to help in any way that you have. So it's good to see you guys. I hope you are all well. I hope you're all staying safe. And um, yeah, until next time. Bye.